11 Crazy Awesome SpaceX Facts. We know that the launch of Falcon Heavy seems very distant for many of us, and that's possibly the last we thought about SpaceX and Tesla, Elon Musk, and greatness. Well, we can't get enough of the company and the man behind it, so we're here to bring both back to your attention because, well, they're amazing. So, without further ado, this is Crazy Awesome SpaceX Facts. Number 11. Founding Way back in 2002, Elon Musk decided to take on the immense challenge of founding an aerospace manufacturing company, which seemed a nearly impossible task, as there were already huge companies such as Lockheed Martin and Boeing dominating the market. Elon persisted though, and we now know that they would go on to accomplish many amazing things. Back in 2008, however, the fate and future of the company were tossed up into the air when SpaceX almost went bankrupt following three failed launches of the Falcon 1. But the fourth managed to work out well, basically saving the company from falling flat. Number 10. Falcon 1 Did you know that Falcon 1 was the first ever liquid propellant rocket engine developed by a private space company to achieve an orbit around Earth? It's true. It was a two-stage to orbit rocket, merely meaning that it had two distinct stages that provided the propulsion needed, one after another, to reach orbital velocity and set up past our planet's atmosphere. The first three attempts to reach orbit were failures, as previously mentioned, but it achieved its goal on the fourth attempt in September of 2008 and made a total of five flights, the fifth launch on July 13, 2009, and then it was retired and replaced by the Falcon 9. The development and production of the Falcon 1 cost roughly $90 million. Number 9. Reuse and Recycle Elon Musk's first instinct was to buy some old Russian ICBMs that had been refurbished to make the rockets needed for SpaceX. However, this proved to be too costly and didn't make sense from a financial standpoint. He then decided the best option would be for his company to just build their own rockets in-house, which helped to save a whole bunch of money. Another way that Elon decided SpaceX would save money is to reuse the rockets time and again, which helps to not only save money, but parts as well. And this approach allows the companies to do more with less. They devised a way to use propulsive landing in their rockets to safely bring them back to Earth, and are hoping to find a way to reuse the boosters from the Falcon rockets thousands of times. This would reduce the cost of a launch from anywhere between 60 to 90 million to below $50,000, and we can see all the advantages of that. Number 8. International Space Station Do you know which aerospace company has a contract for the resupply of the International Space Station? If you guess SpaceX, then you're a genius. In 2009, NASA signed SpaceX to a $1.6 billion contract to do the resupplying, and it's the first time that NASA has ever used a private company to deliver all kinds of cargo to the space station. Over the course of eight years, SpaceX sent more than 20 metric tons of supplies to the orbiting station. And with the success of the missions, NASA signed on with Elon's company for more resupply missions. 14 to be exact. Considering how much money NASA has saved using an outside contractor, it looks like space travel's future could rely on the partnerships between government agencies and private aerospace corporations. Number 7. Mars, Mars, Mars We all know that Elon Musk has a dream, a dream to colonize the big red planet not so far from our own. And with the technologies and innovation SpaceX has achieved in the last 16 years, it's looking like this dream could soon become a reality. The cool thing is, the tickets to get to Mars could eventually go below $100,000 apiece. That is if they can nail reusing their boosters and technologies. As of right now, there are two missions slated to go to Mars, with supplies to prepare the actual humans making the trip, and we can see crews of astronauts take off for the planet by 2024, which is utterly mind-blowing. Number 6. Holy Rocket The BFR. That stands for Big Blank Rocket. I'm sure you can guess what the F word is. Once constructed, it will be the most powerful rocket ever, and that's because it needs to be able to take cargo and people into space. It's expected to be able to carry around 100 passengers and their cargo, as well as a bunch of other much-needed supplies for heading up into space. It'll also be totally reusable, which will allow for it to run mission after mission, and the hope is for it to replace all of SpaceX vehicles that are currently being used. It needs to be able to carry a weight roughly equivalent to a blue whale into space, 
and hopefully do so comfortably when there are live humans on board. For travel to Mars, the rocket is planned to hold 40 different cabins that will house two to three people in each. It'll also have common areas, an entertainment center, a gallery, a large cargo hold, and a solar storm shelter. The ship speed is to be somewhere in the area of 62,000 miles per hour, which, when humans are aboard, will make them the fastest humans ever, and will allow them to reach Mars in a short three months. Number 5. More BFR so not only is Elon thinking about his BFR to transport people and supplies to Mars, and to the moon, and wherever else in the solar system, but he's considering to use it more locally as well. He believes that we could use a rocket to travel anywhere in the world in less than an hour, which would probably completely revolutionize travel as we know it. The only issue, Elon says, is finding places far enough from big cities for the rocket to take off and land, because as he puts it, rockets are quite noisy. That would be fine though, considering we spend much less time actually in flight. The longest and most time consuming part of the trip would be getting to and from the launch pad, which is a-okay with us. The trip would also be extremely smooth, once the rocket passes out of the Earth's atmosphere. As with no air pressure, there would be nothing to cause severe weather or turbulence. Who would have ever thought that we could see something like this in our lifetimes? Number 4. Found on a Beach Back in 2015, a man named Kevin Eichelberger, as seen in this picture, and his buddies were staying on a reasonably small, remote unnamed island in the Bahamas, when they looked out of the window of the condo they were staying in and saw, well, this. The men wandered their way down to the object, and on the way, one of them stated that it looked like a piece of a spaceship, and that's exactly what it turned out to be. It was part of the Falcon 9 to be exact. The men tried dragging it ashore and actually succeeded in getting it most of the way but it was filled with water and obviously quite heavy. So they took pictures with it and pried out some GoPros that were housed inside. The men mailed the SD cards from the GoPros back to the company in case there was information on them that would be useful. That was last they heard from the company or Elon, but they got a really cool story to tell. Number 3. Falcon Heavy On February 6, 2018, SpaceX remarkably made history. Falcon Heavy, a heavy lift launch vehicle, was launched and it changed the way that many of us will see space flight forever. The launch took place at 3.45 p.m. EST, and featured Elon Musk's Tesla Roadster strapped to it to work as a dummy payload. The mission was a success, and it was widely considered the biggest and best achievement ever achieved by a privately funded space company. Post-launch, we saw the side boosters come back down to Earth and land safely on landing zones 1 and 2, simultaneously. If you haven't seen the videos, go check them out. The simultaneous landing is seriously a thing of beauty, and if it hadn't had happened, we might just think that something like that is impossible. Well, Mr. Musk proved that it is, and he and his company made it look very easy in the process. Number 2. Starman and Roadster So, as we just mentioned, Elon Musk's own personal Tesla Roadster was sent up into space along with Falcon Heavy, and inside the Roadster sits a dummy that has been named Starman. Starman is kicked behind the wheel of the car, and will be for some time to come. As of right now, the Roadster is the only consumer car that's ever been sent into space, and if you've seen any of the pictures, you'll wonder why we haven't done something like this before. When the car was first in space, a video was provided by an onboard camera, and we got to watch Starman's journey across the stars for a little over 4 hours. There is a debate over the ethics of sending a car into space, with some saying that it's just contributing to space debris. However, others viewed the sending of the vehicle as a work of art. Many thought that Musk was joking when he first announced that his own personal roadster that he used for his own commuting would be the payload carried by Falcon Heavy, but we all quickly learned that he was, in fact, not joking at all. When first sent up, the car's sound system was playing David Bowie's Space Oddity, but sadly for Starman, the song cannot be heard in space due to the absence of molecules, so he sits in silence. Number 1. Where is Roadster? An engineer named Ben Pearson took data from NASA's JPL's Horizons and created a website where you can track Starman and Roadster's movements in space. The site shows, with measurements updated every second, just where the vehicle is in comparison to planets such as Earth, Mars, Venus, Mercury, and the Sun. It's pretty impressive and really puts the whole thing into perspective. Elon Musk even linked to the website himself via his Twitter and even added the comment, I'm sure it's parked around here somewhere. Typical Elon. Man, wasn't that journey just great? What other company can say that they've accomplished the fantastic things that SpaceX has? 
Well, the stats are in, and it turns out that there's no other company that can match up with the innovations and excellence that SpaceX provides. If this video was up your alley, like it, give it a comment, and subscribe to the channel, and watch out for new great content coming your way soon. Thanks for watching.